Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish. Thank you for joining me today. The other day I did a video, a very quick one, just running through this album that I'd made for my nan using the Memories and More album. This is the craft album that's the eight holds the eight by six um, inserts. And I had a question of how I was gonna wrap it. And obviously it's quite a special little present. So I wanna see if I can wrap it. Um, using our supplies and make a nice box for it. Now this is totally going to be, it's either going to work or it's not, um, with measuring it. So if it does, this will be uploaded. If it doesn't, you will never see this video. <laughs> so I'm just going to measure it out for you. And it is about eight and three quarter inches that I'm going to want it. Let me just do it from the bottom actually, that'll give me a it's dead on eight and a half, so it is going to be eight and three quarter inches I want with just a little bit of leeway across. So I'm just going to jot that down. If I've got a scrap piece of paper anywhere, yeah. This is why I keep scrap piece of paper. So it's eight and three quarters of an inch that way. Very technical, that. <laughs> um, horizontal, that isn't in or vertical, but there we go. And it's nine inches that way. Right, so I've gone to my 12 by 12 cardstock to uh, to help with this. And um, the cardstock I have is the gorgeous, gorgeous um, Tranquil Tide. And um, I've got two and a bit sheets of that, so let me just... Let me work this out in my head as to how I'm planning to, to do this. If it's a 12 inch sheet, oh let me, that, that'll help as well. Better measure how wide it is. It's just over two inches. So even the cleverest amongst us, and I'm not good at this, <laughs> Nine inches plus two inches on this side plus two inches on this side is going to equal 13. So it's too big for my 12 inch by 12 inch um, cardstock, but I can manage it. My cardstock only really needs to come to sort of halfway, doesn't it? It doesn't have to go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Let's hope. I don't know. Let's have a go. Um, so in the middle, I'm going to want eight and three quarters, which is that. It will leave behind. Right, okay, so it's going to be, that's three inches, half three inches is one and a half, plus the one from there. So it's going to be one and sixths eighths of an inch going that way. And one and six eighths of an inch going way. All right. And then for the top, let's do the top. Let's work that one out. If I have done it one and six eighths of an inch here, I am going to want to do it just under that, aren't I, to So one and a half inches and one and a half inches. Okay, then we'll come back to the top. So this time I want nine inches, that's there. So I want one and a half inches on this side. So on the one sheet of paper, because I've done that quite quick, I want one and a half inches on both of these sides and one and six uh, six eighths of an inch on those. No, five eighths of an inch. Oh, honestly. Yes, it, on these two sides, it's one and five eighths of an inch. On these two sides, it's one and a half inches. And then on the other piece of paper, this is one and a half inches, one and a half inches. Turn it, and you're going to want one and three eighths of an inch and one and three eighths of an inch. This will be on my blog because I do understand them by me working it out, not being very clear, am I? Hopefully this fits. Fingers crossed, where's my bone folder? Oh. I had 
one, uh, uh, my bone folder out earlier, I was trying with very little success to make a flower. Bear with me, two seconds, very disorganised. I have my filming station here and then I craft everything on a pull out table behind me because this filming bit is literally, this is the end of it so I can't fit all my paper on when I'm just normal crafting. So bring in your bone folder and fold these all down. Now you've probably spotted, what I have spotted, is that when you put these together, these are going to be fatter than these, I'll show you. It doesn't matter because it's going on the inside and I'm going to make a feature of it. And I've only decided I'm going to make a feature of it because I've just thought about it. But when you are cutting, you need to make sure that the thinner bit, so this bit here for me is thinner than this strip here. So I've cut up there so that it will hide. I don't know if you can see what I mean, but there is going to be a lip. Okay. So again, the thinner bit needs to be cut and not the thicker bit. exactly the same so this is the thinner strip again there use your fuse with this because this is going to be a uh, so big and so heavy with a cardstock and an album going in. And if I can give you a little, little tip, um, from me, a demonstrator who wants to continue with current project products and doesn't really want to be purchasing retired products because I can't demonstrate them. My hint and tip to you, stock up on fast views. This thing is amazing and I'm really sad it's retiring. I don't care, I'm still going to be using it. I know there's some demonstrators who just haven't got on with it. I think it's one of them Marmite things, you either love it or you hate it. I love it. So let's just seal that in. And seal that one. moment of truth I can't remember if this was the top or the bottom but moment of truth anyway just to see if this fits in it does it definitely does this must be the top because it's very loose let's hope it's the top that's the way it's going to fit in it fits so now we just need to do exactly the same with the other piece now if you're giving this um and you're probably going to be carrying it a long way i'm not uh, my nan lives about two streets away from me so it will get put in the car and that'll be it but if you are making this as a proper proper feature box because the album is so heavy i would put another layer inside this and really thicken it up um, I mean, our cardstock is it is a decent weight, but it's not decent enough to hold in a whole album. So do stick another bit in between if you're going to plan on making this really hardy. Like I said, this is just a nice wrapping up for me exercise. Um... Also, my family is one of those families. You know, if you wrap something up really, really nice, they never want to open it. <laughs> they just stare at it. <laughs> we had it at Christmas. It was quite amusing in the end. Okay, go again in the corners. Remember, by the way, the thin bit is the bit that you cut. 
in the corner, cover it with the fuse. You can probably see that I'm putting a lot of fuse on. I am determined that this little box is going to, well, this massive, great, big 12 by 12 box is going to fit. Actually, that's a point 12 by 12. It's a good job I didn't decide to use the 12 by 12 memorism more album, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd never get it. <laughs> never get it in a box. I have another box to do for this weekend as well so you might get another one in a minute because um my friend's getting married and i've bought her a tea light which is gorgeous but i obviously need to wrap that and um i've made a a sort of a photo frame type idea so uh, and that will need to be wrapped too just got to work out whether I'm wrapping both together or just doing two separate packages, which is probably what I'm going to do because I can't be bothered to think about how I'm <laughs> how I'm going to put them all together. So like I said, there is a lip on the side. Um, if you are making it and you do not want that lip, then on the bit that was one and six eighths, so one and five eighths as opposed to one and a half. So this was one and a half, that was one and five eighths just cut an eighth of an inch off the paper each side and you'll be fine so now I want to check does that fit into there does one of them fit into the other please fit oh I'm trying to fit the wrong one into the wrong one aha I made a box now as I said this is flatter than what the album will be so put the album in And then the album will dictate the height of the box like that and what I'm going to do is because the album isn't sitting straight when I pack it I am just going to put some foam in there to make it stay straight so the whole box if you notice what I mean as at the moment when I'm packing that this side here is sitting higher than this side because that's obviously the shape of the album I will do is I will just pull that up and put some foam underneath so that that stays straight like that so it looks right when she opens it right to decorate it let's move the album out of the way honestly I haven't even allowed drinks around that album <laughs> I pre-cut this tranquil tide hoping that it would fit and it would be the right size and luckily it is I have done it the same size as the album so it's it's eight and a half that way and eight and three quarter I think it is that way I'm just gonna put some fuse onto that but before I do I'm just gonna check what ribbons I have to go with it I'm sure I've got a tranquil tide ribbon somewhere there we go all right so what I'm gonna do with that is I was wondering whether I'm going to actually put it underneath here or whether I'm going to put it... I think I'm going to put it on the side of the box. I am. So I'm going to stick this anyway. Fuse in again. You can do this bit with snail. Um, I'm not because I've done the rest of the box with fuse and that is what I've got in front of me. But you can do it with snail and Tombow would stick this as well. If you're not a fused person and you don't like using fuse um, to make this box, make sure you use sticky strip as an alternative because that is quite a good um, tear and tape is the, the name in the catalogue. That is a really good alternative. So then I'm just going to take the ribbon and stick it underneath. I'm trying to work out actually whether I want it there or whether I want it up there. I'm awkward, I am. <laughs> I really am. I'm going to do a, a special one. It's a special birthday. I can do a special, special bow if I want to. So I'm just going to fold that into there. Okay. 
crocheted. I'm getting it awkward because it's so big to see what I'm doing. And I think I have just developed a little bit of a problem. So I've just noticed that the reel has dropped on the floor and not only has it dropped on the floor, it's rolled. Don't you love it? I swear, it, they, everything works well for me when it's just me. But as soon as I come to video for everybody else, everything decides to play up. It's proper in pish. So I'm just going to stick that. I've put the fast fuse onto the ribbon and I'm just going to stick that across there. Up there. And then down and into the box. There's that bit and I'm just going to put another bit along there. And then I'm going to actually tie that bit. Sorry if you could see my hair. It, um, it was the ribbon's fault. <laughs> so okay, I'm just going to put some fuse on that. I'm just going to bring that over the side there. And take that about there. Chop it off. Exactly the same, and I hope this is in the, the right place. It is. And then just tie it as you tie a normal bow. This ribbon, this classic weave ribbon, that all the ink colours are currently in, um, is probably the ribbon that I have found the most easiest to put into a, a nice big bow. There's quite a few, you know, that there's the shimmer ribbons, there's the silky ribbons, but this one is the ribbon that I probably found the easiest to do all of this with. Just tidy that off. Because I've done it as a big bow, I'm just going to slant the edges rather than doing them as a chevron. Like that. And there is my box. I hope you liked it. Thank you for joining me. And um, I'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. I will put all of the measurements because I do realise I did make a mess up of trying to measure it out at the start. I will definitely put those up on my blog for you. Thanks everybody. Bye.